Hi, it's Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and a Canva champion. Today's Canva quick tip is on shapes. And shape the basic of graphic design, so an incredibly useful thing to know and to master. And Canva has added some really exciting and very easy to use additions to the shapes elements, which should make them even easier to use and get more fantastic effects out of. I'm in my Canva screen now, and I'm just going to open up an Instagram post. And you'll find shapes under elements. If you just click on lines and shapes, I did a video on lines not long ago, and I'll add a link. But shapes are here, and I'm just going to click on this one. One of the first things it does is come up with a color. And that's one of my Bureau Graphic Designer colors that just picked up from my brand kit. And I've tested this on the Canva free account, as you can have three brand colors in a brand kit on a free account. And it does still pick up the color. You probably can't see it, but there is a little flashing light there. And that's just telling me I can add some text. I don't have to go to the text box to add it. I can just type it straight in. Typed in, be your own graphic designer. And I'm going to make that larger. And I'm going to take the text color and I'm going to turn it to white. As I have a Canva Pro account, my fonts are already included and they appear under text. I'm going to change it to my main text, which is architect's daughter. And I'm going to make this larger. The text doesn't get larger, so I'm going to need to increase the size here. And I'll probably put it up to about 56. Let's go to the top line. And here you'll see a new addition that says shape. If you click down on that, I can now change the shape to any other shape in the selection. And it's really easy and quick, as you can see. Obviously, I'd need to change the font size, but it's just a very quick way of making a change. I think we'll stick with this one. Then you can change the color. I have all my brand colors here, but I'm gonna stick with the blue one. And you can see it did pick up my original blue. And then I can add a border style, which you haven't been able to do with shapes before, which is fantastic. You can see it's got a no border at the moment. But if I move this along, it'll add a border. And I'll add quite a thick one. And here the text does adjust to fit within your design. The next thing I want to do is change the type of line. So this is a solid line, and I can change this to dashes or little dashes, or I can change it around. I like doing this. Keep moving this backwards and forwards. It moves it up and down, which is quite fun. I can also have corners rounded. And that's one of my real things. I hate square corners on boxes. So corner rounding is great for me. I can change the color of this border now I've added it. So it's now appearing up there. And it's given me the option to change the border color. And I'll change it to another Be Your Own Graphic Designer color. And it's that simple. So I just thought I'd show you how easy it is to change and play and use shapes now. And they can become the foundation of your design. So I hope that helps. And I'll catch up with you next week.